Zach Duke's question is how do you personally define love and hate? I really thought you were going to break and go ahead and do the same what is love. <laughs> Very funny. Um, boy, those are the most abstract concepts that I can think of. Um, I'll start with hate. I think it's a little easier. Uh, I, I think hate is a byproduct. I don't think we have any solid emotion that is just hate. I think we have uh, hateful behavioral responses to fear, to bitterness, to anger. And anger isn't hate. None of these things are hate. Hate is uh, what we choose to make of them. Uh, usually people that are hating usually people that are executing d destructive behaviors because of this hateful response. Uh, I think they're hurting, they're damaged, and sometimes irreparably, sometimes dangerously. Uh, but I think in the end, hate is just the fallout of hurt. It almost sounds, no, it doesn't almost sound cheesy. It sounds cheesy, but you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. Um, so hate, that's, that's it. And you asked both. Yeah, you went ahead and you touched on the love thing. This is where we really risk getting cheesy. When you're trying to discuss something that is so positive that cynics reject so wholly and that if it does exist, which I, I believe it does in a, in a more solid form than hate, I think it's more of our natural default state. For those of you uh, watching me from OKC, you have access to my profile and I discuss what makes us what we are, as opposed to all the little defining characteristics and hobbies and our likes and dislikes that we seem to find so ready at hand when we need to describe who we are. But I think that who we are is, as I have written there, is something that is happening in us, in our minds, the place where we are that fingerprint of consciousness that exists when we're just zoning out. One of those good thinking places. That is when whatever we have going on consciously, our biological mind, is more informed by who we are subconsciously or unconsciously. And I think in that space, and as we emerge from it just to observe the things around us, I think we feel something that is love. And when we love someone, whatever triggers it, whatever causes it, or whatever allows it, I think that there is the ability to share that space, that place between where our eyes focus and where we are can exist in that space at the same time. And we can do that after we've batted heads, after we have run headlong into conscious cognitive thought and the distresses that it causes. When we still have that place and that is what dominates, then we know we have love. I don't know that you can know it when you're talking about one person to another, a romantic love, I don't think you can know that it's there until after you've confronted those things that often derail it. I think that just about uh, covers it. I I'm sure I could ramble on and more about it. But...
Zach would also like to hear your views on balancing apathy with empathy. Balancing apathy and empathy. With a comma or without, because I can talk about balancing up here, that's for sure. Apathy? God, I'd love to say I don't experience that. There are things about which I do not in my conscious life care. Uh, but I think a lot of people embrace apathy as this wiser, more experienced way of looking at the world that uh, those of us who still give a shit are the ones who haven't been knocked around by the real world enough. And I see that as a phase too. It's like when you jump in a swimming pool when you hit the surface of the water and it's cold. Once you get underwater, suddenly things are okay again. Well, I think that uh, the apathy, that whole like, you know, fuck the world, the, the depressed, angry, like all that stuff. As soon as I see somebody embracing that or holding that up, it's like, this is what I am. Look at me, I don't fucking give a shit. Whether it be in some macrocosmic sense of life in general and the universe and who cares, well, we're just nothing out here and it'll all be over one day. Or whether it be about one little thing like uh, it's just the internet bro uh, it's still it's the same old I have not emerged is that a deer over there yeah. while I'm talking it's al along the tree line I see something it might not be a deer it might just be weeds that look like a deer yeah I think they're just weeds never mind anyway when I see somebody embracing that I'm just pretty sure that they're on a point in a path that I have been down before. I've felt those feelings and I've moved on and seen a broader perspective which allows the feeling. Uh, but, oh, it was a deer. It just ran. It was a buck. Uh, but can't be based on the feeling. It can't center on the feeling. Uh, empathy. That is such a conscious choice for me. Uh, especially if I know someone or I encounter someone. It's a lot easier for me to empathize, to feel, to put myself in the place where I'm feeling what others are feeling when I just hear about them than it is when I hear them. I don't know why that is. But I know I hear about those miners that are underground in Peru right now, in Chile. Oh. And I can't help but to sit and think about where they are right now. I, you know, I know they're under the ground 2,000 feet or whatever, but I mean like where they are in their heads. Um, when I hear somebody going on on the forum about their situation, I sympathize. I wish them good luck. But for me to invo emotionally invest in that beyond sympathy and wishing the best and even liking that person, even some feelings of adoration and admiration and respect, for me to really empathize, I have to make a conscious decision to put that person in another realm of my world. And then I, you know, and it's hard on a forum. God, I've been on so many forums. And Suddenly, I have to start taking people and putting them in a place where I'm going to read every post I see them, every thread, because I want to know about them. And uh, I like lots of you enough to do that with. Uh, there's just too many, too goddamn many of you. <laughs> so, here and there, you might be one of them. Who knows? That's about it on empathy. I probably didn't cover it as well as apathy.